Well, by now you've guessed, I suppose, that we're at Bays Mountain Park, and of course you would be right. We're at one of my favorite spots here at the park, and that is at the Fire Tower, which is a great way to kick off this episode. Um, later on, of course, we'll visit with our good friends from the Kingsport Public Library, as well as the Senior Center, but for right now, we just want to kind of get things kicked off a little bit here. We're on our uh, pre-summer uh, episode, if you will. Well, I know summer doesn't officially begin until June, uh, but it unofficially begins when school lets out. So what we want to do in this uh, small amount of time that we have here today is to uh, kind of give you a little bit of a teaser on what you can do. Get outdoors and find things to do here in Kingsport. Obviously, we're starting right here with Bays Mountain Park, and obviously I can't think of a better place to do that. Um, we've got 40 miles of trails that are approved for both hiking and mountain biking. Uh, we have animal habitats with uh, live native animals, a 44-acre lake that you can enjoy a barge ride on, a planetarium show with state-of-the-art shows that are fun for the whole family. Um, obviously opportunities to just relax and enjoy. Maybe you want to picnic, maybe you just want to get out and relax or maybe exercise. Bays Mountain Park, I hope, will be that destination for you, but there's tons more to do here in Kingsport than just Bays Mountain Park. For example, um, we're coming up on Memorial Day, and you know what that means. Memorial Day, of course, means it's time to hit the pools. Uh, Legion Pool is going to be open basically from Memorial Day unto um, Labor Day. And, you know, it's more than just swimming and soaking up rays. Uh, they host birthday parties, other social events. Um, it's an opportunity to, to get together and just relax. Again, hit the water and cool off, if nothing else. Um, ditto with the splash pad at Riverview. Probably one of the uh, funnest, neatest places we have is, of course, the splash pad at Riverview. And I think, uh, safe to say, if you have children or grandchildren, I can't think of a better location. Splash pad at Riverview is the perfect spot. Um, but, more than that, we've got some bikers and some skateboard enthusiasts who like to live on the wild side. Uh, hop on down to our skate park uh, downtown. Um, I think, safe to say, we may have the region's finest skate park. Um, I know I'm a little biased, but uh, having seen some of our uh, uh, participants enjoy the park and some of the feedback we've gotten, uh, uh, I think it's safe to say it's thoroughly enjoyed. And so get out and enjoy that. Um, you know, coming up on that time of year, it's already started. We've had spring training and opening day for Major League Baseball, but one of the funnest things to do here this summer comes up in about mid to late June, and that's when the Kingsport Mets arrive back in town. And that's right, Kingsport Mets, uh, rookie, uh, rookie level, entry level baseball, professional baseball team, wonderful opportunity to come out and see some future and rising stars as they pour through uh, uh, Kingsport on their way, hopefully to the big show. Um, great opportunity to get out and, and enjoy that. Can't think of a better way to relax than a hot dog and a Coke and a baseball game at Hunter Wright Stadium. The cool thing about Hunter Wright Stadium, though, is also that it's also home to another leisure opportunity, and that's a dog park. Uh, those of you who have dogs and uh, love to get out and walk and get in nature with uh, man's best friend, I think you're going to find the dog park at Hunter Wright Stadium be right up your alley. Um, maybe your summer's full of trying to stay in shape and get that perfect tan and that perfect beach body. At some point, you're going to go to the beach. Hit the green belt. Uh, nine full miles of uh, uh, walking and, and uh, jogging trails. Uh, I know we do have some folks who bike there as well. Plus, I got to tell you, the scenery there is just beautiful. Uh, wonderful job by the city to maintain that uh, that particular asset of ours and uh, wildflowers this time of year. Uh, plus, those that have been landscaped and planted there really make that a, a very serene and relaxing destination. Um, you know what? I could go on and on and on. We still have places like the Exchange Place, Nettleton Inn, Allendale Mansion. It's going to be full from here throughout the end of the year, literally, and especially during summer with weddings every weekend. Uh, but they also, I'm sure, would be interested in hosting any social events that you might have. Um, as you can see, there's worlds of opportunity here in Kingsport. We want you to get out and enjoy every bit of it. Welcome back to Leisure King Sport. We're here in Glen Bruce Park, the beautiful Glen Bruce Park, on a nice hot spring day with uh, Kingsport Public Library's Kate Lukacs. 
Kate is going to tell us about some of the fun stuff going on down here at the library this summer. Kate, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, yes, we have all kinds of reading programs this summer for adults, uh, teens, and children. So it doesn't matter how old you are, you can come enjoy the library. Uh, of course, reading is a key component of our summer programs. We would like everyone to read. Uh, you can keep track of your books on our online uh, program. And, uh, but also we have prizes to help encourage you to come out and read and come out and participate in our programs. There will be prize drawings. There will be a lot of prizes from different local businesses because we like to support our local businesses and they like to support us. And so for the children, we have things for multiple age groups of children. We have things for elementary age, so K through five. We have things for preschool, that's about three to five years. And then we have time for twos, which is for the toddlers. So um, if you're interested in bringing out your elementary age child, you can come out on Wednesdays. We have programs at 11 and at 2.30. And uh, if you have a preschool age child, that's three to five years, we'll have programs on Tuesdays at 10.30. And then Time for Twos is on Thursdays at 10.30. That's for ages 24 to 36 months. Okay. Now, because our preschool program is so popular, if you are a preschool provider or a daycare, you can also call us to book a time on Monday to come in and see the program that we're showing on Tuesday, because we often get quite a crowd for that. Uh, it's nice flexibility. Yeah, exactly. So if you're interested in booking anything or you have any questions about the children's programs, you can call Youth Services at 229-9366. Now, for our youth services, we also like to cater to teens because that's a very important population. We think that they deserve their own space, they deserve their own programs and their own interests. So, youth services will also be having teen programs. Okay. And for the teen programs, um, we'll be having some different things. For example, we'll have a dance for them. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, for something a little more practical, we do have a self-defense workshop coming up as well for them. Oh, boy. Learn a little bit of that. There you go. Uh, we'll even have a movie showing with free popcorn and drinks. I mean, who, who doesn't like a free movie? Exactly. And of course, there'll be prize drawings as well and other book discussions. And most of the teen programs are going to be in the afternoons and the evenings, because I know when I was a teen, I liked to sleep in. I'm not going to come in the morning. <laughs> oh, no, it's especially true during the summer. No school, just cruise the rest of the way. Oh yeah, yeah definitely, good definitely. Plan. So for any questions about the teens, you can also call Youth Services at 229-9366. Okay. okay, so we don't want to leave out the adults because libraries have traditionally had summer reading programs for kids and teens because we like to promote literacy and give them something to do while school's out. But you know, adults should get to do that too. We should get oh, to have fun. We need fun. And so I'm running the adult summer reading program, and so we do have the reading component to that as well. We want to keep track of books. It's not as focused on keeping track of how many books, it's just, hey, let's read something enjoyable instead of something for work. Yeah. And we have prizes for them as well, some nice prize drawings. And then we have programs, and those are in the evenings. Those are mostly going to be on Mondays at 6, and those will be things like, come play video games. Why yeah. not? You know, adults sure. can play video games too. We'll also have free movies as well. And, and you can bring the family to the free movies, you know, they're, they're family friendly. Oh, but, nice. but we'll have free popcorn and drinks there as well. Uh, we're also going to have some Fun Fest programs as part of our summer reading program. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, um, we're going to have a genealogy program, Climbing Your Family Tree, and we will be having a photography workshop. We've had a very popular photographer has been coming in and having these great programs. Brian yeah. Castle of Picture Perfect Photography, yeah. and he's been giving free photography classes. And oh, he's no just kidding filling up that auditorium and he's a real nice guy so free if you've ever wanted to learn to do <laughs> photography there's your opportunity you can't be oh, free yeah, yeah the library photography by the way yeah the library is all about free so that, that's what we're here for is to give you free things so um, if you have any questions about any of the adult programs you can actually give me a call uh, my number is 245-8140 so if you're interested in finding out more things, or like if you want to find out the movie titles, you can call me and find out that information. Oh, super, super. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys have got a, uh, a really fun summer ahead. You know, I, I love the addition of the, the adult uh, video games and, mm -hmm. the, and the photography. You know, these are, uh, and, and one key thing you mentioned, free. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of folks don't realize that, uh, you know, thanks to their taxes and their involvement here yeah. at the library, 
you have so many wonderful things at their fingertips to do without any cost at all. Mm -hmm. That's especially important in this economy, so we like to do that. It really is. It mm -hmm. really is. Well, thank you so much, Kate. Is there uh, a, a website that we also need to direct people to? Or? Sure. Uh, if you want to, you can go to our website. That's www.kingsportlibrary.org. Okay. Wonderful. Kate, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. We'll uh, be right back with Michelle Talbert with the Kingsport Senior Center, and we'll find out what all kinds of fun things they have for us to do this summer also. Oh, 71. B three. Welcome back. We're here with our matching partner, my matching partner, I should say, Michelle Talbert here at the Kingsport Senior Center. And uh, as you can see, we have a little bingo going on in the background. Unfortunately, we don't have our boards yet. We will. We're winning. That's right. So. Anyway, uh, we're here to talk about real quickly some really fun G stuff that uh, the Senior G Center has set up to kick off a fun summer. And uh, Michelle, nice tote, okay. tasting color. You, we must have got the memo. I, I did get the memo. Okay. I did get the memo. Thanks for following and, and sending that along to me, and we'll match just nicely. And, and uh, partner. <laughs> All right. That's cool. you got some cool stuff coming up in June. Uh, we've got some great yeah. things coming up in June. Um, lots of fun things. Um, first, to kick it off, we're having our annual health fair. It's uh, yeah. going to be on Tuesday, June the 12th. It's from 9 until 1130. We're going to have all kinds of vendors, local vendors with great information. Um, they're going to be handing out free samples. And um, it's sure to be a good time to come and get your questions at, answered that you have uh, for the different vendors that we have that day. Um, and at 11.30, we're going to give away door prizes. And you have to be present oh, to win the door prizes. But they do like a fun bingo uh, where you take around your card and you have the different vendors sign up on their spot on the card. And then at the end, then we have uh, the prizes that we give out. Nice. So it's a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is, and there's no charge. Uh, just come and enjoy a, uh, a good time. And again, that's on June the 12th from 9 to 11. Uh, good deal. Local health providers and other professionals on the tap for the day. Sure, and we're going to have um, breakfast uh, for everyone that comes out that day. So that'll be a great thing, too. Oh, good deal. Good day. Sure. Um, now, we're also going to the Best Friends Festival. Uh, it's their senior day in Northern Virginia, and that's on Wednesday, June the 13th. So, hey, come to the health fair on the 12th, go to the Best Friends Festival on the 13th. Uh, that's a good week plan. Sure. Now, on the Best, Best Friends Festival, uh, we leave from the Senior Center at 8.30 that morning. We return somewhere around 5 that afternoon. Uh, the cost is $8.00. And that's at the sign up, and that begins on May the 9th. So we still have some room available. So you can come by the office or call us and get signed up. And um, there's a free lunch uh, at the bingo, at the Best Friends Festival. Um, there's bingo, there's a cakewalk, and there's a spring variety talent show. So that's sure to be a lot of fun. Talent show, oh, that's going to be a blast. Uh, I have no talent, but I might come and watch your talent. <laughs> well, it was sure to be an interesting thing, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always a lot of fun here at the Senior Center, so I have no doubt it'll be interesting. Oh, it, it's, it's a great thing. Um, the Best Friends Festival, uh, we've gone to it each year, and uh, again, it's in Northern Virginia. And uh, we even went one year, and it was um, inclement weather. It was raining, but hey, they had a tent set up, and everything was just fine even when it was raining. So. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> well, even on a rainy day, you can have a little fun. That's right. Now, Another thing, another way you can have fun with us is uh, our June dance, uh, which features live music from Kids Our Age, and uh, that's uh, going to be at the um, at the Rascals Teen Center, and that's from seven to ten, and that's on Friday, June the eighth, and it's five dollars at the door, and just bring a snack to share, and man, what a great time! Oh man, that sounds like a good time. Have you had? Have you heard Kids Our Age? You know, I've not heard Kids Our Age. Heck, I'm not here to hear Kids My Age either. So. <laughs> They're a great band, local band, and uh, come out and listen to them on Friday, June the 8th. Well, it sounds fun. Food, little, little boot scooting, it sounds like. Good music. Lots of fun. Sounds fun. <laughs> and $5, you always can't it's beat fun. it. These guys always have fun. Always. And, you know, that's what it's all about. The fun begins at 50. That's our thing. So. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm stretching. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> 
guys won't let me participate in some of these things till I get there. So I got I got to do what I got to do. That's right. Well, now just keep in mind that once you get there, you can go with us. Uh, we're going to North Carolina um, Arboretum. Like I said, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, in Asheville, North Carolina. And this is going to be on Wednesday, June the 6th. We'll leave at 9 o'clock, get back somewhere around 6. And the cost is $8 when you sign up. And uh, plus five dollars a day of the trip, you pay that once we get there. And lunch is on your own at the cafe at the Arboretum. It's a box lunch, uh, which is always good. And we just remind everybody to wear your good walking shoes because there's a lot of walking. So you get some great scenery and you get your exercise in. Good. Not a better, not a better day can be had. Uh, lots of fun now. We are having a wellness seminar on Tuesday, June the 5th, so that's the day before the Arboretum trip, and uh, this is going to be talking about the services provided by Family Home Care. It's at 1230 um, in the card room, and there's, the cost is free, and there will be light refreshment served, so come and get some uh, questions answered by Family Home Care. And also, we're going on a shopping trip to Dillard's Department Store Clearance Center. Center. Yeah, you want to mark that on your well, calendar. There's be a lot of good deals there. <laughs> Got to be. It's a clearance center, right? It's wonderful from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's on Friday, June the 1st. We leave from here at 9.30, return about 4.30. Uh, cost is $8, plus lunch is on your own at the Apollo Flame which is um, a very interesting name. It's, a, I'm sure, a wonderful ah, restaurant. And hey, Sounds when, fancy. when you sign up, you can get the menu. So you can go ahead and plan what you're going to have to do with us that day. Um, and the sign-ups began May the 11th, so we still have some room for that. Nice. Good. I can get your taste buds flowing before you ever get there. At the Apollo Flame. Good deal. <laughs> Now, we're also having, in recognition of Father's Day, a couple of days after Father's Day, we're having a Father's Day picnic at the Allendale Pavilion, and that's going to be on Tuesday, June the 19th at 1130, and we're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs with all the trimmings. Uh, the entertainment is going to be Dandy Don, who's a local performer, uh, wonderful, uh, he does cowboy music, brings his own stage set up and everything, really entertaining. Oh, nice. That sounds like a lot of fun. It, it will be. And and uh, this is open to all participants, not just fathers. And uh, we start signing up for this on June the 1st. So, you know, come out and enjoy a, the Father's Day picnic with us. Yeah, that sounds like a good day to be had. Sure. And um, for those who are computer savvy and those who maybe need a little help on the computer, we have a social media for seniors computer class uh, that's going to be in our computer lab starting on uh, Wednesday, August the 8th, and it continues on Wednesdays through August the 15th. Uh, it's August 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Um, so four weeks, and it's from 9 to 10.30. The cost is $25. Uh, Sign-ups for this begin June the 6th. The instructor is Sharon Hurd, and we can have a maximum of 10 participants. But, you know, if your grandchildren or your own children, they do Facebook and stuff, and yeah. you're not really sure how, come out and find out how to get on Facebook. Yeah. That's a really cheap and inexpensive way to, an efficient way, I might add, to stay in touch. I know a lot of families are going by way of Facebook to talk, chat, particularly when distance is involved. So that's a... That's really a big offer we got there. Really important. Sure it is. Um, now, I, I, I want to encourage everyone to mark down on their calendar that we're going on the Tennessee River Boat Cruise, the Star in Knoxville, on Thursday, August 16th. Uh, we're going to leave from the Senior Center at 9. We'll return about 4.30, and the cost is $38. That includes your transportation, the cruise, and the lunch. And sign-ups for this begin June 22nd, so be sure and mark your calendar for that trip. Oh, you got to get in on that one. Yeah. Can't miss that one. Can I go on that one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Not all of them. I tried. I am trying. Well, one day. Yeah. One day. One day. Well, you guys have a lot of wonderful action planned, as always. And um, really big event coming up June 12th with the Wellness Fair. Uh, of course, the father-son event and the social media networking really stand out in my mind. These are things that, you know, we're talking about father-son. We're talking about families connecting. So get on down here. Catch up with Michelle or any of the fine folks here at the Kingsport Senior Center. Find out how you can get plugged in.
Now, one other thing I want to mention, Rob, is I would like everyone to also mark on their calendar that the week of Fun Fest, we have a senior fest here, and that, that is the week of July the 16th through the 20th. It's sort of like our open house, uh, and it's from 8.30 to 11.30 each day. And uh, what you can do, you just come, we'll get you signed up, you can visit with vendors, you can come and participate in our programs that morning, and uh, you have a chance to win a door prize at 11.30. So nice. uh, we encourage anyone 50 and over in the Tri-Cities area to come and join us for that yeah, week. Well, plan now to come do that. That's, uh, I promise you will have a blast. You'll, uh, your eyes will be open to many an opportunity in front of you. Sure. And uh, you'll meet a lot of really wonderful people. So uh, thanks again, Michelle. Always a good come visit. And, uh, Oh, we're uh, we're going to go see what we can win back here, right? Any good prizes? Uh, wonderful prizes. I mean, we need to go check out the prizes. We've got hustle. Yes, we need to. Okay, we're going to hustle. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this uh, month's edition of uh, Leisure Kingsport. We're going to go win something.